online type it's not easy it's not easy it's not easy online type it's not write in your notes it's not easy write down it's not easy to work with god it's challenging write it down it's not easy today is the day today i will explain to you why you are backsliding like as i'm preaching now you are closing your eyes you are falling asleep why why is it because it's away are you away uh-huh. <laughs> Is it because he's away? No. There's an away girl whose eyes are open. There's an away man whose eyes are open. There's, there's an away queen mother. She's awake. So he's sleeping, not because he's away. So why is he sleeping? Don't you want to know why? No, sir, in your instance as a senior Christian, have you not met people who are struggling to work with God? Sorry, a lot, a lot. In this service, the people who are older than me, they could not be more than 15 or 10. I'm older than over 98% of you. I'm very old, but it's the looks. <laughs> I'm very old. Now, are you aware that I'm a grandfather? I'm a grandfather. I'm a grandpa. A grandpa can be 42. 42, you are a father. Yes. I'm preaching. In spite of my age, that I am older than you, upstairs, I'm older than all of you. But you, you, you behave like tired old men and tired old women. I like the way you are nodding your head. I'm saying, you are getting the point, eh? I like this guy. It's going down, baby. It's going down, baby. I like this guy. What's your name? Enoch. Enoch. And Enoch walked with God. This is a man. Enoch walked with God. So he understands what I'm saying. The Enoch's anointing is on him. Makatu Saba. Why? Why? Why is that at my age I have more energy to serve God than you? Why am I stronger in the things of God? And you are 25. This is my fourth service this weekend. This is my fourth service. Fourth. After church, I have a fifth and a sixth. Four o'clock and six p.m. Six. This is my first. And some of the services, one of them is four hours. One is three hours. The last one I just came from is two and a half hours. Preaching. Already, I must have done about 20 minutes of preaching. So far. 20 minutes. So, I'm not, I'm explaining that. How is it that an old man like me, I am strong, but you are weak? Why? The answer is that I am agreeing with God. You see, my walk with God has more agreement in it than your work with God. Because I am doing my father's business. And you are not doing the father's business. So you see that when we put um, 
acrobato video. You, will you wake up? Acrobato. You wake up right now. Do you know acrobato? What? Who knows him? Uh, who knows tomorrow? Uh, who knows tomorrow? You see how they are all awake? Acrobato. If I bring up Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne's video. How many of you know Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Aha. Aha. You will come up because you agree with Lil Wayne's business. But when it comes to God, you are tired. Why? Why do people get tired when it comes to God? Because they are not walking with him in agreement. Now, today, I'm going to lead you to walk with God well. Thank you. This service is an exciting service. We love it. Now, now but, 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 but for me to lead you, we both need to know what the father's business is. Uh-huh. Because so far, you are not doing it. That's why you are tired. So, what was Jesus doing? That he called the father's business. Was he preaching? If he was preaching, then the father's business is preaching. So that if you preach, you agree with him. Are we there? If winning souls is a father's business, then you and I ought to win souls. Do we agree? So that your walk with God will be good. So let's go to the comprehension, to the passage. What was he doing that he called, did you do comprehension ever in your school? So you can help us. So, let's start. Was he praying? Was he fasting? Ah, he was planting a church. What was he doing that he called the father's business. And you will have to ask yourself, am I doing this business? So verse 46, let's start again. New King James. So the English, so you say, oh, I brought some hard essay, a, a comprehension with old English. I'm bringing English that you can understand. So let's do comprehension. Is there. So, it now so it was about after three days they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the teachers both listening to them and asking them questions next and all who heard him were astonished then they said 48 So when they saw him, they were amazed. Can anybody tell us what the father's business is? Did anybody see preaching in this? So, from the comprehension passage, what is the father's business? Who can raise their hand and answer? Which student? Which student? Yes, girl. Uh, what's your name? Hosanna. Hosanna. Your name is Hosanna. Come. Today is Hosanna Sunday. Clap for Hosanna. Today, all of us are examiners. Give Hosanna the microphone. Hosey, what is the father's business? According to the passage, Hosey. He was preaching. Hello, hello. Take your time. Say it well. No, don't say it. We will all say, is, it, is she right? Is she wrong? Say, say it. No, bring out. Oh, okay, you don't know how to preach, so put it here. According to the passage, he was preaching. Good. That's all. Okay. Correct or wrong? wrong? Correct. How many of you say it's correct? Wrong. According to the passage. 
Was he preaching? No. So according to the passage, preaching is not the father's business. Stand there. Hosey. No, today is the word of God, Bible. What I am doing now is that I am preaching. It is called the work of God. It is different from the father's business. Is preaching bad? No. I'm feeling something. <laughs> Who else will tell us what the father's business is? I want a 20 year old. Yes, this boy. Yes, come. You mentioned your name? Where you are calling from? Your name? Jesus. Your name is Jesus. Hey! <laughs> Hello? Your name is what? Jesus. Jesus. Je- Jesus what? Aquesienti. Jesus Aquesienti. Where were you born? September. Where? Where? Ghana? Yes. Where in Ghana? Baba Yara. Baba Yara? Kumasi. And your name is Jesus Akwesi Entry. Minti Bida. Jesus, bro. Why? Hosanna. Hosanna. It's the end of Jesus. Bonsema Jesus. Online. Clap for Jesus. Now. Sound. Uh, so, so microphone him, Jesus. Jesus. What is the father's business? According to the Bible. Acc- no, according to the passage. According to the passage, Jesus was teaching the word of God. True or correct? Wrong or right? Wrong. Jesus paid it. Yes. Uh, come. No, not you. The one at the back. Come. Okay, no, you. Come, come, come. Your friend was saying? Nutifafa. Nutifafa. Yes. Yes. I feel power in the name. Nutifaf. According to the passage, Jesus was listening and asking questions. Can I find some Fanta or Coca Cola or something? Oh, who has got 20 Ghana, 10 Ghana, 20 Ghana? Yes. Five. That's okay, 10. Ah, look, look, get it. 20 Ghana. I'm adding 10 Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, the father's business is not building basentes. The father's business is not planting churches. The father's business is not 
evangelism. My good Abaka. Is evangelism bad? Is evangelism bad? You see? Today, I'm explaining. You see, like, have you, how many of you have heard the saying that you don't build a house on the land? You build it in your pocket. So, when you see someone building a house, like that house there, that they have not plastered, it has risen very fast. The house, fast. It's one of the fastest projects. I, I, I preach here every Sunday. So the owner of that house. So when you see somebody building that way, he has already built the house in his pocket. When you see somebody preaching, he has already done the father's business. When you see somebody preaching with energy, building a church, having services. I said, this, is, this service is my fourth service. Fourth. Fourth. Not this week. From Saturday morning. Fourth. The father's business is what you do so that you can do the father's work. When you find a pastor who was pastoring churches last two, ten years and has now retired, know that that pastor has retired not because he's not well. Because we are all not well. We are all not well. When you see a pastor who has retired, it's not because his child is sick. We have preached in this church when our children were about to die in intensive care. Should I stop preaching? When you see somebody retiring, has no energy, it's not building a bar center, it's not pastoring a church, it's not following up people. When you see a church member who is not winning souls, today I'm informing you that you are looking at somebody who is not doing the father's business. You see, because To preach the way I'm doing. You see how I'm standing? The father's business is not done standing. That anybody who doesn't sit down cannot stand. That's why there are Basenta leaders who can't stand to teach. Because Jesus was sitting in the midst of teachers. Hey. Anybody who doesn't surround him, can you sit down? I want to preach and close. If you don't sit down and surround yourself with teachers, Do you know why he was asking questions? He was asking questions because when you ask a question, it makes a person say more. So he was not satisfied with what he was hearing. 
So he was asking questions so that more things could be said. A deeper interest. He was hearing and hearing again. Are we therefore not surprised that this is the man who as soon as he began the ministry was raising the dead, healing the sick. When he preached, they said, we have never heard it like this before. Why? My dear friend, winning souls is not the father's business. Sitting down to listen to messages. Surrounding yourself with teachers. Is what Ezekiel 2.2 says. And the spirit entered me. When he spake to me. And set me on my feet. So. When you see somebody standing on his feet like I'm doing, preaching, a spirit has entered him. And how does a spirit enter a person? A spirit enters you when somebody speaks to you. So when you are sitting here as a Christian and you don't listen to messages, you are not involved in the father's business. God's business is the business of sitting down. When you sit down and you listen to messages, nobody will tell you to get up and go and plant a church. When you sit down and you soak messages, nobody will tell you to get up and go and win a soul. A spirit enters you. That is why God he is not in God's first concern is not what you are supposed to do. But what you are supposed to do before you do what you are supposed to do. In Matthew 28, he sent the disciples, go out and preach. When they got up to preach, he said, sit down. Nobody is allowed to stand up when you have not sat down first. Sit down. Sit down. Ah, but you are the one telling us that we should go and pretend. Sit down. Till you be endued with power from on high. Listen. The reason why you can't even stay awake when a pastor is preaching is that you are not doing the father's business. If you have done the father's business of listening to his word from teachers, teachers, and the people who listen to teachers are not people who have finished solving their problems. Actually, it is when you have problems that you must actually surround yourself with teachers. Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah chapter 30, King James, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, these are life's problems, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. No problem in your life should let you separate yourself from messages and teachers and pastors who talk to you. No problem. Affliction has no power. Adversity has no power. Because to know what to do when you are broke, Like a pretty girl like you. Whether you are married or you are not married, it doesn't matter to me. Money can let you fall into the hands of a man. You, I mean. That's why it is actually 
when you are eating the bread of what? Adversity. And the water you drink is afflictions. Can I have New Living Translation? Verse 20. Though the Lord gave you adversity for food and suffering for drink. Some of you, when you suffer, you cut your pastor off. Yes. I said, when you have problems, you stop coming to church. Am I preaching? Okay, okay, then. Let's end the message. No, no. They don't want me to preach. When you are having marital issues, your child is dying. You are losing your business. <laughs> Though the Lord gave you adversity for food and suffering for drink, he will still be with you to teach you. You will see your teacher with your own eyes. This morning, as you have seen me, it is God speaking to you. He's the only one who will show you the way out of the financial issues. Out of the marital, your child, your health, your that. Because the next verse, 21. Your own ears will hear him. Can I have the King James again? Thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way. That is why Jesus said the father's business is sitting down. When was the last time you sat down? You sat down to write exams. You sat down to listen to, to nonsense on Facebook. You sat down to study for your math test, your accounts, your accounts. When was the last time you surrounded yourself with teachers? New Living Translation is here. Amplified is here. Derek Prince is preaching. Bishop Dagwood Mills is bringing it this way. And you don't even know which Bible. When was the last time? No wonder you are going to marry a man because his voice is deep. One girl was asked, what type of man? I was standing in Legon. I remember where I was standing. Uh, Legon. Around Fort Foundation area there. And three girls came to me. Two girls and a girl I knew personally. And they said, this girl you know. We asked her what type of man she wants to marry. And she said, the man she wants to marry is a man with five five. <laughs> One girl was doing Miss Malaika. Or Miss Ghana. Ghana here. She was asked, what is your, 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 what is your ideal man? She said, my, my sign of an ideal man is a man with hair on his chest. <laughs> and you are not different. When we put your life under a microscope and assess your choices, you don't seem to know which way to turn. Some of you, when you live here, even as you are here, you are checking on the team you put your bet on. When, when that betting company themselves have 